In this video, we're gonna look at Summit Fishing's HD shuttle. We're gonna look at how to install it, how to do the wiring, how to install this LED light, your accessory switches, and put live scope on a portable unit for ice fishing. Let's go. We're gonna be using the Summit shuttle to install uh, live scope on this system. We'll be doing the LVS32 with the black box, the GLS10. So let's begin. When we open the Summit shuttle, this is how it's going to arrive. You're gonna get all these wires just like this. You're gonna have a little charge port and you're gonna have a positive and negative to hook up to your battery. What Summit Fishing has done is they've put on here A, I imagine that stands for accessory. They also have a minus on this one and a positive on this one. So you've got a bunch of little positive things you can connect to as well as negatives and a power switch for those. The only thing they didn't include is for this piece to go to your battery. Today we're gonna to be using an Amped Outdoors 30 amp. They're missing this piece. So you'll want to order one of these. This is just a little attachment that will connect to this like so to connect to your battery. And the one I've got, it's got double prongs on it. Can you see those there? So what that enables us to do is hook this positive onto here like so, and the negative on here like so. And I'm not losing any connections. Okay, once that's on, I've got a direct connection now to my battery for charging. I don't have to turn the system on to charge it. I just plug it in and also, this powers this button for all of our system. So if we plug this on this battery to test it, this on here, we should have now power to our front panel. So there's our main power and here's our accessory. Really clean looking. I love that the uh, charge port is on the front of the system. That's a great addition. Um, these recessed buttons for power are really, really smart. That way you don't have a switch that you by accident bang and turn on. So really like that. Um, and they got a USB in here. Uh, what is it? Five volt, one amp and five volt, 2.1. I would like to see some three amp in here or at least both being a two amp, but this is really easy. You could switch this out, unplug these, buy one of these things for six, seven bucks and change this to whatever you want. You could have a nine volt marine connection. You could put a three amp in here, two amp, doesn't matter. Really easy to switch out. So one thing nice, all the batteries are all, or the, all the wires are all hooked up, really clean. And then all you're doing is adding your live scope wires, your GLS 10 and to power the rest of the unit. Inside here, I can see they've got a section notched out for the battery. Um, what I would have liked to have seen is they would have had some kind of foam in here, or if not foam, at least a strap, something to be able to hold the battery in place. Because as it is now, I guess they have this little piece here. Uh, maybe that'll hold it. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's just drop this in for a sec. Okay, that's sitting in there. It's not too bad, but definitely if this thing's moving around, this battery's gonna kind of shake around in here. So I definitely think they should have a slice here, a slice here, just with a strap to go around to really secure that battery. I think uh, that is something that I would add to this shuttle myself. Let's take this back out. And look, let's look at other first impressions. This is their newest shuttle. This is the HPDE. It's a um, high density, I think it's called polyethylene. Really, really strong. This stuff's way stronger than the computer printed stuff they had before. So really nice to see that. Uh, I did have some of the computer stuff before and it was chipping and breaking on me. So it's really nice that they've gone to a more robust material. And it's super lightweight guys, super lightweight. Great little shuttle. Um, I also got a little LED light for this. I've got some hooks that hook on the back to hold your pole. Um, so it's a great all around shuttle. Comes with the wiring harness. So let's get into building this thing. 
So the first thing we wanna do is start with the GLS 10. What you wanna do is when they send you the bag, they're gonna send you a bunch of big washers, small washers, and a bunch of these longer bolts. These smaller washers are for the GLS 10. These larger washers that you get are going to be for your uh, graph screen. So grab your bolts, put your little washers on, and what you wanna do is put these in this way. You wanna start basically from here. Yeah, once I'm there, hang this on there. That should hold the weight of it. I take my nut and, and put, place that on here and snug that up. I will have to tighten it after, but right now I'm just snugging it up. Okay. So that's there. That's all nice and snug. After that, I'm going to throw in the other ones in the bottom. So our GLS-10 is on the unit, and I will tighten these up. Yeah, just snug that up. There. So our GLS-10 is attached to the shuttle. Next step we want to attach our mount for our graph. Make sure when you're putting this on, the little spaces here are pointing outwards. Now, you can have this near the back here, you can have it up front. I think it looks better up near the front, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I am gonna line up these holes right here. Once I have those lined up, I'm gonna use these large washers Now I'm using these really large washers so that these bolts don't sink into this hole. And the reason I don't want them sinking into that hole is if I look underneath here, you see how long these things stick out? If they went down, these sticks, these bottom pieces would hang down even, even further. And I really don't want that. I don't like when there's big bolts sticking out that can puncture or scratch my batteries or other gear. So once that's there, I am gonna attach these nuts. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna take my little crescent wrench, just gonna kinda snug this up. Next step is the battery. So we're gonna do the battery and the wiring. So here's our battery. I'm gonna disconnect it for right now. Let me see if this will fit in this way. Uh, with that out of there, it might just fit in. It might just fit in. Okay, you know what? This 32 amp fits in there perfect. I will take it back from the beginning about adding this strap or the foam to secure this battery. Um, that is very, very secure in there. And I think it's even gonna be more secure with these screws going in. Okay, that's that. That's pretty snug in there, for sure. And it actually prevents it from lifting up. So, we have those wires. I'm gonna connect this back up. So everything has power. The only two things that you need to power are one, your Garmin graph, which is going to mount up here. You need to power this. There. Power this and then power your GLS 10. So with these, you can just run your negative into this negative here. Just clip it in and you're positive right into here. It's so simple. Really, really good uh, design. Summit Fishing has uh, really done well with this. But before I do that, I want to 
feed this cable down through here. So I don't have a bunch of cable in the back there. Okay, so there's that. So, so my plus, all I'm gonna do is find a port on here that's open. Lift that up, slide that in, clamp that down. Okay, that's locked. So there's our positive. And then for our negative, we gotta find one where it's not being used, like this. And I'm gonna trim some of this off. And just push that down, there. So our Garmin Live Scope should be powered up. The only other thing we need to power now is our GLS-10. This is the power cord for the GLS-10. I'm gonna run it, whoop, going backwards, through here and down inside here. Make sure it has enough room to tighten. And then I'm gonna take this and this one's going to go into our positive again. This one up, slide that in, clamp it down, find our negative, lift it up and slide this in and clamp it down just to take up less room. It's everything kind of neat and contained as much as possible. And this is the network cable that goes from the head unit to the GLS-10 network cable. There. And attach it. Okay. Power cable. That's this one that we just installed. Push that down. Tighten that up. Now to snug this stuff up, I'm going to take all of this cable, see all of this, funnel it through here, feed this thing down and through, just like so. Okay, so that's going down and through. Now, just like this one here, I can open this up a bit and take this cable and coil it with this one. Just makes it so much neater in the box. Keeps all the wires neat rather than kinking them. I want to leave enough room to get out to that, back out to this head unit. And just pull that nice and tight on there. Okay. So now this little bundle of cable can sit in here. This piece here can go back in here and back up through. And that will attach to our here here click and screw that on basically we're all hooked up other than this little led light now this is optional you don't have to get this thing but i think it's a cool little addition to this uh, box and so i'm gonna add it if you look on here it shows the two bumps here and then it shows you to kind of place if you place this thing over top it's going to give you a reference on where to drill your holes all right so i'm going to drill some holes here i'm just going to mark them and then i can widen them after actually a super easy install so I'm gonna lay this on its back so gravity can help me push all this stuff in here so there she is Power that on, got our LED, 
That looks sharp, guys. That looks sharp. Now, we also have in here these guys, which are the hooks for the back. And they go on like so, and then pop down. And these will hold your pole. And that is super handy. Overall, um, I'm gonna say a great little shuttle. Love the LED light, that is so handy. I love that it's like a nice white light. If I was working tying a jig, um, I don't know, I dropped something on the ground, just even using this as a light, super handy. This is the HD shuttle. I'm gonna give that a solid eight out of 10. I'm gonna give that eight out of 10 for uh, weight. See how strong that is. Yeah, that's strong. I ain't gonna break. So yeah, the only thing left would be hooking up the actual live scope, coiling the cable, putting the uh, HD shuttle pole on there, and that would be it.